So here's a quick video how to diagnose the ECU of the uh, VP30 pump. Here we have the KKL VAC interface. I hooked here a special cable to car line to the pump and just plus and minus plus and ground just from the battery just here from the battery to the pump and also to the interface simulating like it will be plugged in in the car here we have the schematics pin 9 of the pump is the car line 7 is power supply so plus and ground on the pin 6. Pin 6 is ground, 7 is plus and 9 is current. This is only the three, uh, three pins that we are interested in. Next. Next. We just start our diagnostic tool. It's called Dennis Soft TP40, TP45 and TP40 pump error code reader. The OBD scan tool is hooked up to COM port 8. So I have to choose COM port 8 in the settings. The other settings I let it like they're set by default. So yes, save the settings. Click connect. Wait a few seconds and we're connected. It's being connected. It's good. Here it shows us the pump number. Also the same thing here in the screen. So a connected version and thing push part number. Other things I don't know, but whatever. We click on read TDC. Wait a little bit, and we have here the fault code 59, BAP fault, begin of injection point, 32, and 57 is timing device control, permanent control deviation. I try to erase the codes, make a short print screen, erase the codes. Yep. Strange. Let's start it again. Comport eight. Okay, okay. Connect. Okay, now it shows zero error codes. The problem here is when you erase the codes, what they read is that they will still be, uh, they could be still there, but this program will show zero error codes. But they will appear, uh, I think, after a few attempts to start the car. Then it will show again here, so you can. But if there are any and you erase it, they will not show up again, then it's good. So that's all.